got going on.
sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. to all of you. On behalf of the parishioners of St. Anthony, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you here this morning. If you are unaccustomed to worshiping according to Catholic tradition, we would hope that you would feel most welcome this morning, and you may either remain seated throughout the celebration of the Holy Mass, or you may follow along with the rest of the congregation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Mary Louise Mitzi died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant, Mitzi, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Proverbs. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Mm -hmm. 
A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it's convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For I am already being poured out like libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. On behalf of the parishioners of St. Anthony, I would like to extend my sincere sympathy to the family of Mary Louise Mitzi Collins at this time of her passing, especially to her husband, Jeff, her children and spouses, Catherine and William Fay, Carolyn and Kevin Puebla, Charles David and Chris Smith, Michael and Christine Smith, Thomas and Lucy Smith, her 13 grandchildren, her 13 great-grandchildren, with two more on the way, her sisters Marjorie Hun and Paula Denny, and Jeff's children, Kelly and Tom Warner, Patrick and Lita Collins, and Kathleen Collins, as well as to Mitzi's extended family and many friends. I have to say that before Mass, uh, Father Young mentioned to me that I should award my black and gold uh, vestment so violet and, and gold will have to do. To say that Mitzi was an industrious, a creative, independent-minded, and energetic woman would really be an understatement. And reading her obituaries like reading the story of several lives, and all of them well-lived. The woman never stopped, and I'm sure it was inherited from her mother who kept running the DX gas station after her father had passed in a day and age when that was not done. So her strength and her business acumen was indeed in her blood. As the book of Proverbs so aptly describes, Mitzi was never one to ever eat the bread of idleness. She was quite the businesswoman and entrepreneur had a hand in opening over 200 retail businesses throughout her life, from cookie stores to kitchens to splashers, Benetton and Sports Avenue stores, bud shops, and black and gold shops. She and Jeff were always on the move, always thinking outside the box. Mitzi and Jeff formed a great partnership in so many different ways. Hers was the spirit of the wise virgin, virgins, with oil in good supply and lamp well lit. For Mitzi was always prepared and ready for the bridegroom or for at any opportunity that presented itself for her to entertain her family members or friends at any number of her homes, which were tastefully decorated by her, by the way, and feed them her delicious cooking. For Mitzi relished life and lived it to the fullest as a devout Catholic woman who loved the rosary and had a special devotion to St. Jude. And while Mitzi enjoyed great business successes and enjoying living in Florida and traveling to New York, to, Nor to New Orleans, and to other exotic places like Rock Island, <laughs> perhaps her greatest joy in life was when she was shopping. For it was second only to her faith her husband, and her family. So for the many memories she leaves those who loved her in this world, we are grateful 
And while her mind failed her in her latter days of earthly life, it provided for you, her family, the opportunity to show her the love and care she gave you throughout your life. And we ask God to bless her and to forgive any sins she may have committed out of human weakness, knowing that Mitzi gave all that she had. And so, in her human imperfection, we return Mitzi to the Lord, just judge that he is, trusting in God's mercy, longing, as did St. Paul, that she will be rewarded the crown of righteousness, knowing that she has competed well, she has finished the race, and has kept the faith. Let us turn now to the Lord to offer our petitions. In baptism, Mitzi received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. For our sister Mitzi, who was nourished at the table of the Savior, welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. For the family and friends of Mitzi, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister, Mitzi. Strengthen our hope that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. And for all those who love to shop like Mitzi did, that uh, their shopping will continue and Mitzi's will continue in heaven. We pray to the Lord. God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated for the preparation of the altar. new day. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Vincy, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You may be seated or kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mitzi, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her most chaste spouse, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand as we pray in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. You may kneel or be seated. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. At this communion time, I would take this opportunity to invite all those Catholics who are disposed to receiving Holy Communion to come forward. If you are not Catholic or no longer practicing the Catholic faith, but what at this time would like to come forward to receive a blessing, you may do so by coming up and crossing your arms.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Mary Louise may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. I believe a family member has uh, something to say with us, for us today. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, my name is Alexis, and Mitzi was my grandma. <clears throat> As I sat down to write my thoughts about my grandma, so many special memories came to mind, and I actually had to erase the majority of them because it started to sound like the adventures of my personal childhood and not a tribute to grandma, which then got me laughing. I think any of the grandchildren here today will agree that we can each confidently say we were the favorite. Uh, but that was just grandma. She made everyone in her life feel like they really were the favorite. When I was asked to speak today, I knew there were no words that would ever do my grandma Missy's life justice. There are so many wonderful, hilarious, and heartwarming memories I have of her being such a fabulous woman, and it felt insufficient trying to recap her essence and charm in just a few paragraphs. In my mom's time of grieving, She's found such comfort in a poem by Linda Ellis called The Dash. I'm paraphrasing here, but the poem is about the time between the dates that are etched on a headstone. We only see the date of birth and the date of death, but yet the most significant and meaningful days of our lives are lived within the dash. We may think our lives are categorized by the shiny book cover front and back, but it's really about the story inside. A lifetime of laughter and love, sadness and joy are sprinkled throughout our days. And as I reflect back on the life of my grandma, I can smile knowing her dash or the story inside was beautiful and fun and so very well spent. I came home uh, right after grandma passed away to be with my mom. And we spent the next day out at Grandma and Jeff's going through old photos for today, which were out there. Mom, you did lovely. And uh, we looked back uh, on moments of sadness as we were looking at fond memories with her and ached for just one more. But our time was mostly filled with laughter as we saw a woman living her life to the very fullest. There were moments of joy spent with her friends on Bourbon Street, celebrating Mardi Gras for decades, and she documented every moment. Um, boating on Tuesdays just because the weather was nice, going out to the casino with her friends, traveling with Jeff, and meeting the likes of sports stars like Joe Namath and Mike Ditka, and I hope you saw the photos because we have them, to celebrating holidays with her beloved family and running her and Jeff's many businesses. I was reminded of how I've never met a better hostess, thinking back to New Year's Eve parties at her boathouse in New Orleans, to the best firework shows in town on 4th of July at her home in Illinois. She was the life of every party, and yet she always wanted to make you feel like you owned the place. She was the most gracious and generous person, and let's be real, the funniest gift giver. I'm speaking on behalf of the grandchildren here today, but the product of a grandma who loves to shop is the most stylish and well-equipped 12-year-old who on one Christmas received both a cashmere scarf and a holiday platter from Neiman Marcus, along with a matching snow globe. She even went as far as to gift one of us uh, Neiman Marcus jumper cables on Christmas because the brand from AutoZone would simply just not do. She was luxurious in every way, even when it came to automotive accessories. But jokes aside, if there was something that you said you wanted, it was already yours. It was a running joke in the family to be careful of what you told grandma you liked because sure enough, by the next birthday or Christmas, you'd have every item in that color with your name on it. I can't remember a time leaving grandma's house when she didn't slip a folded up $20 bill into my hand as a parting gift, even at the age of seven, when that felt like a million bucks. And I can still hear her laugh as she'd throw her head back and say, oh honey, just take this home with you, even though you tried to refuse it. Or how her perfectly painted pink nails were her signature trademark and made me want to paint my nails just like hers. But more than the presence and constant love that she gave us was an example of a woman who lived the life she dreamed of in pursuit of love and happiness and just pure fun. She wasn't afraid to go after what she wanted or take risks, and I'm forever grateful to have had a woman like her to look up to my whole life. They say it is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all, and I think that's true. 
The world certainly lost a lot of sparkle and joy the day we said goodbye to Grandma, but it sure is a better place having had her in it. Today, I am so happy and proud that Mitzi Collins was my grandma. And as I have navigated my own grief over the past month, my hope today is that we can all turn our sadness into joy and celebrate her life for what it was, a series of wonderful moments of love and laughter and fun, always wrapped up in a fabulous new outfit. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's time to eat, so I think that's good. Before we, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister, Mitzi, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which have bestowed upon Mitzi in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prior to the final blessing, uh, I'd just like to announce that everyone is invited to come down to me and Billy's immediately following the Mass. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you to and take you to the holy city, to the new Jerusalem. And the Lord be with you. May the blessed please stand for the final blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Let this be my song.